everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing what is happening for you guys a year from now. So we're gonna be seeing what major changes are happening for you, what you can get excited about, what the sort of things are gonna be coming towards you. So we have four groups as usual. We have group number one with a clear quartz, group two with a pyrite, group three with a copper, and group number four with the smoky quartz. So please choose your group now and let's get started if you'd like more time don't uh, hesitate to pause the video if you would like to and yeah all my rates and my crystal shop are below and let's get started start with group number one with the clear quartz hello group number one let's get started with your reading my lovelies so you guys chose the clear quartz tower beautiful let's stick her over there in the corner okay so let's see what's happening for you guys where you are now and where you're going to be in one year from now so let's have a look at that okay let's see what's going on for you guys so we're gonna have a look into the astrology in just a moment okay so this is going to be where you are now and this is going to be where you are going to be within one year okay so is there anything i'm picking up i'm seeing like a lot of restaurants like i'm seeing you are you're out a lot, you're with a lot of friends. I'm seeing like a lot of like surface level chat. Like I don't feel like there's a lot of like deep chats, but you're having a really fun time and it feels like you're living, I'm hearing living up my young life. So even if you're not quote unquote like, you know, young, you know, being, I don't know, 20s, 30s, um, I do feel as if you feel energized in your childlike energy, feeling really like you're having fun. Okay, so where you are now and where you're gonna be in the future wow you guys are very very spiritual oh my lord okay so we have the sea serpent where you are now and the zebra is where you're going to be in the future so the sea serpent to me really represents your high 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 spiritual self um, i'm gonna have a look at the sea serpent in the book because i keep forgetting what chakra this one represents but the fact you have two very very strong high vibing um cards is revealing to me that you guys are really really connected to your spiritual side and wanting to connect to it the sea serpent represents healing emotional wounds and expressing desires this is to do with your second chakra of your sacral so this is to do with it says when the essence of this card is in balance we express ourselves creatively and sexually without fear or shame we know what we desire most our hearts are at ease and our relationships are meaningful. It's important to remember, no matter what the waters of our emotional lives look like, the sea serpent loves us just the same. Like a mother, she wraps herself around us, in, hang on. <laughs> she wraps herself around us in a gesture of protection. She supports us as we learn to express our true nature. So for you guys, you are in a kind of stunt of growth. Like it's not, you're never in a stunt of growth like ever, but like how you feel is you're kind of in a stunt of growth. Like you feel like nothing is changing. You are stuck, you are confused. Everything just feels like a big fat confusion. And it feels as if you don't feel like you have any kind of way to go or like journey or like kind of like blueprints. So I'm hearing just let go of the control. Um, if you come more into your creativity, that's gonna help so much. So what I'm seeing is, it feels like I'm hearing a spiritual, I'm hearing a spiritual girl in a spiritual world. Um, I am a spiritual girl, oh my God. Uh, I was gonna start seeing some material girl. Um, okay, so you might actually be in like a quote unquote like materialistic job, maybe even not even quote unquote, like you might actually be like in retail or working in a shop where there are like, you know, things that are material that like you can grab and you are so ready for something more you're wanting to grab hold of something more something bigger like you're seeing things in a more intense way i'm getting like my ankle is really itchy so this is about like supporting yourself like you might even have a family that you have to support and it's been really hard for you the zebra is so beautiful this guy is so cute like i'm being drawn to the eyelashes i feel like your eyes are the most important i'm hearing eyes are the window to the soul when you are really open and you are letting the universe guide you, you're very, very, very in tune with yourself and you manifest stuff very, very quickly. I am seeing for some of you guys, if you have been trying for a bebe or you are you know, with someone who you really love, I do see a baby coming soon, a boy. So of course, this is a general reading, so don't put all your you know, energy into this as that, but it is guidance. So I am seeing like bebes. But also what I'm feeling is pregnancy can represent like 
rebirthing and birthing something, within six months, you're going to feel a lot more fresher, a lot more freer. This is somebody, I'm hearing, this is a spiritual girl, and not, I don't mean just girls, guys as well, but I'm hearing, this is a spiritual girl who has suppressed her spirituality for too long, and it's not authentic anymore. She cannot function, she cannot be herself. So you have held on to this so much and you're trying to fit in, but you're not actually fitting in. Like you're trying to fit in, but by doing that, you're not actually fitting in anyway. Like I'm hearing don't suppress your, your psychic abilities. This zebra is so, so psychic. This is about you showing off your psychic abilities. Maybe you want to do a psychic career, spiritual career. Maybe you want to speak to your friends about being psychic or whatever or you like you know you're expressing your psychic abilities and you're expressing it in some way and you're very very scared maybe one of your parents was very like religious and against spirituality or something like that there's a big kind of taboo um, with things that are hidden very Scorpio so you could have had Scorpio in your IC uh, in your fourth house you could have had it in your north node your uh, ascendant your rising you know there's a sense of like, I have to hide this because I'm scared. And I feel like it's, it's not scary, but it feels very, very terrifying. And you are coming out of emotional wounds. Like this is not who you are. Your natural self is fun, expressive, spiritual. It's like, stop hiding so much of yourself to fit in because it's not worth it. And I'm hearing it's not gonna last for long anyway. You're basically gonna be pushed out of it. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, so we have the sixth house we have aries and we have the north node so what this is showing me is you are being asked to step into your virgo -y self so even if you oops even if you haven't got any virgo in your chart the virgo energy is all about like coming into nurturing and caring for yourself authentically and being of service to others your journey is to be of service to others in an authentic way and lead like stop being someone who tries to hide or you know feels like they can't express themselves because i'm picking up on a, a connection to the mother like a mother wound um and can you see how this like is fire and it's like being drawn to this like it's being it's showing you like look at this look at this north node and you're being asked to really step into your it could be your aries north node as well and that means if your aries north node then your south node is in libra so you're coming away from hiding, suppressing, forcing, um, adjusting, being and basically an unbalanced Libra where they shove stuff under the rug, they're scared of conflict, they're scared of changing things for other people, they're scared of the what ifs and what if I don't do that and what if I don't do that, it's like girl, what if you do that and it's fucking amazing. Have you thought about that, <laughs> you know? And I'm hearing um, men will be drawn to you, so if you are attracted to men, this is just for anyone, so just take the gender out of it, but um, I'm hearing men will be drawn to you. So if you are attracted to men or, you know, you are needing that masculine energy, whether sexually or, you know, just friends, I see that coming towards you because you're coming into your power. You're being asked to lead. And one year from now, you're going to be psychic. You're going to be, t you're going to be tested your psychic abilities, but you're going to be asked to ask the universe for help. That's basically what they're basically saying. I feel like the North Node is to do with your career and your like psychic capacity. It's like you've been you're being asked to really step into the unknown, and it's trusting. I'm hearing like you're very earthy in the way you um, like assess stuff. You're very much in your head. You kind of you know you like to know all the information before you like to have that control. Control is literally a thought. Like it's it's something we make up in our mind. We only have so much control. So what you what you need to do really is to focus on. What is this feeling coming up within me? What is this What is this making me feel? And I feel like there's definitely a stress around, I can't be my most of things. So I'm, I'm talking to especially females here or strong feminine energy. Like this is something, this feels very suppressed and I'm getting, my, I'm getting acid reflux around my heart. Like it feels really uncomfortable, but it's like, girl, you are doing such a good job. You're doing such a good job, okay? And you're meant to do a career within health of some kind. So if, you're, if you've been asking for guidance or some sort of message, like confirmation, like what should I do as a career universe, what I'm meant to be doing, you're meant to be doing it now. Like you're meant to be doing your career now to do with health. Oh my God, I literally said Scorpio. <laughs> that's amazing. I don't see the cards when I pull them. So that's fucking amazing. So this is your journey. This is where you're going to be a year from now. This is actually six months. Um, within a year, this will be done and sorted. So let's see what's coming towards group number one within their life and career. What's going on in their life and career as well? Because I feel like career is mainly the massive change going on for you. You're stepping into your power, especially if you guys are basically like over, I'd say 45 over, 
like age wise like a lot of you guys have a lot more um suppressed like you've had to go for a lot more manipulation than the younger generation so you're having to unravel a lot of stuff about your purpose and who you are and where you stand yeah this is the 10th house of career perfect so you're being asked to transform the way you are expressing yourself in the world and is it actually serving you are you doing a career that is soul sucking you know and even if it is soul sucking maybe it's something you need to do practically right now to get the money you know not everyone um can do that right now you know it's not something we always are able to do but even if you can try and focus on that essentially like go towards it say you want to do a more spiritual career you know quote unquote spiritual or holistic or you know any type of thing like that or you want to bring guidance make sure you are in a position where you are researching about things you're being and when you are a leader you want to get as much experience as possible so ask the universe for help ask the universe to help you move into this career that really suits you or help ask the universe to help you get more intuitive and it's things like having strong boundaries um cleansing yourself with crystals and incense and nature meditating um using selenite all these things are really really important to get you access to your intuition because scorpios are very strongly intuitive or what water signs are very naturally intuitive i mean we all are but water signs are known to be the most intuitive most like easily connected to their intuition so i feel like you have that intuitive ability but you're avoiding it very strongly and can you see how we have virgo again because we did have the sixth house of virgo so there's definitely a strong need for you to put yourself first. And whenever I hear this, it's like, it's your move. You've got to put it first. You've got to put that out there. But what I'm hearing is you're not making the first move because you're scared. What if I do that? What if I do the wrong thing? Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, it's not true. This is something that has been told to you. It's been expressed to you. And it's not who you are. Like, it's really, honestly, it's not who you are. This is you're, who you are is powerful and fucking amazing. Okay, so... It's about your Mercury as well. It's a lot of the women in your family, are they able to speak up about their truths? What are their relationships like with themselves? Are they very are they very critical on themselves? Are they very gentle on themselves? You know, things like that. Okay, yes, exactly. You have wisdom. Oh my Lord. And you might be teaching people around the world as well with this, uh, whether it be online or physically. Lovely. This is the best possible decision that you can make is to initiate something, is to move forward into something, making the moves now. Oh, there's a card that's falling out. Yes. <laughs> okay, so your home possibly hasn't felt safe and that may be why you've had to kind of have the sort of um, ability to shut down because maybe it wasn't safe to do that. This is really important. Like this is a really important time now, especially because we're going through such major changes as a collective you are needing to be courageous in the decision and every time i'm touching this card my legs are tingling i'm seeing you guys dog walking so being around animals is so good for you like it helps you to be in your unconditional love also the more you connect to your heart shark and more sorry the more you meditate the more you're able to open your heart and then you're able to become more intuitive like i've told, told this to people before like with when it comes to my intuition myself I started meditating when I was about 21 and I'm 25 now. I only started meditating when I was 21. So I haven't been doing it for, for like a long length of time. And I was kind of resistant to it because I had so much kind of manipulation from school and education basically shutting me down. And especially as someone who's really intuitive and naturally like uh, very sensitive and empathic, like you feel all, all that kind of corruption and everything like that. So undoing that was really hard for me. But what it did after about six months is it cracked open my heart chakra. And I feel like it was the universe kind of preparing me for being a psychic, you know, and being open about it and being free about it. And we cannot connect to our intuition if our heart is desperately closed, okay? So I feel like I wanna pull you one more card. So I'm gonna just grab one from this deck. Oh my God. I mean, if that's not Scorpionic, I don't know what is. It's Phoenix, empower. Fire, activation, fire activations bring creative and spiritual freedom. I'm hearing he's not around anymore. You don't need to, um, you don't need to close yourself off. You might have had a toxic relationship with someone um, and that's caused you to kind of coil up. But honestly, guys, this is so important for you. And you've got to be persistent. We've got the card of persistence as well. You've got to be really persistent with this. Um, this is about you and how you're showing up for yourself. You guys are so like innovative. You have so many ideas. Like why, the, the world needs those ideas. Like the world needs, it's kind of like if you're an artist, like the world needs your artistic abilities. Like just because you're an artist doesn't mean you're any more important than any other career. Like artist, art, art, artist, okay, words, Vicky. <laughs> artistic abilities and art is everywhere like on billboards posters commercials um magazines you know on uh, packaging 
artwork is everywhere like why do you think that artwork is not important like artwork is so important you know it's it, it's everywhere graphic design is everywhere you know so now is a really important time to initiate this and even though you don't feel like it's important it's fucking important okay i'm telling you now girl it's the best possible decision and you gotta create harmony before it comes in because if you don't feel comfortable enough and it will be at the right time that's right for you but it definitely is about harmony and kind of balancing the scales. Um, okay, that is your reading. So I hope that resonates with you guys. Also, you might actually buy something that helps you further this decision or career. Maybe it's something like a magazine that has lots of information. It could be a candle and you meditate with it. It could be a crystal. You could meet someone in sh when you're shopping and then they kind of really help you to get inspired. Like I feel like you're leaning more into your natural self because you've been so suppressed for such a long time. This is you have to be courageous about it, okay? So this is your reading, guys. Hope you liked it. If you want to choose another group, get some more info. I'm picking up there's another group. So if you are drawn to any other groups, then go for it, girl. Um, I'm also picking up this to do with your sexual side too. And your sexual side will, your sex life will really improve. So I just wanted to say that. I know it's not an 80 plus reading, but I needed to say that for a lot of you guys. And I feel like somebody's going to like poke out <laughs> when you come into this energy. You might even meet a partnership through this. So have a lovely day. Rates and Crystal Shop are down below and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. I felt the most amazing, peaceful wave of energy just washing over me like, hallelujah. Like I felt so peaceful and like, oh, just wow. Like something has cracked, something has come out. You know, when you just release something, it's just, oh, girl, I feel so good in my body. That is exactly what I'm feeling for you guys. You just feel so calm and collected and just, you just feel great. So I can see that's definitely on its way to you. You might be feeling this now or in the future. So let's have a look first at where you're going to be now and where you're going to be in the future. So future self and present self. All right. Oh, yes, I love this. So you're definitely feeling in the dark. I do feel like dark is actually really relaxing to you. You might actually really like being in the dark. Um, for you, it can it can basically turn off the senses. So if you're very sensitive, it's really good relaxation technique, especially I'm picking up if some of you guys have slight ADHD, ADHD, ADHD tendencies. And I'm emphasis on the HD, like everything is high definition for you. Like I don't even know if that means that, but it's but everything is high definition for you. So for you right now, you are in kind of a hibernation. Um, you are someone who sees a lot. You're very visual and you're somebody who is like really, like very sensitive to the senses. Like a lot of people, are like you'd be so good as someone who like tests wine or um, perfumes or something like that because your senses are like very heightened. You might um, experience this as well in the future. You might be like, whoa, I can smell something. It's not nowhere near me. It might be like a psychic thing as well. It can be Claire Gustance as well. So with the spider, I'm also hearing some of you guys are asking about this deck. Um, so if you want to know what this deck is, it's called the Animal Spirit deck, by the way. It's by um, Kim Kranz. This is the deck that I'm using, if you're interested. So in the future, some of you guys are coming into the spider, like you're coming into this spider energy. This is weaving your web so you can manifest what you need to manifest. So what I'm seeing is you're getting yourself out there more so you can grab life by the balls. That's <laughs> basically what I'm hearing. So it's kind of like the spider, she weaves her web um, to attract flies. And without the web, she can't grab stuff. Like without the web, she can't catch stuff. So you've got to let yourself be known and then you're going to attract things to you. So you might be, I'm picking up on either a manifesting generator or a projector in human design or a reflector. Um, if you know your human design, this is just extra clarification for you. You are working on your solar plexus right now. Like your solar energy is very, very powerful. And I feel like with a spider as well, I'm going to have a look into the spider for you guys. So this is an earth animal. This is, this is being represented as earth here. So as this is earth, you're going from air to earth. So you might be really in your head right now. This, the fact that you're going to a more earthy uh, creature is showing me that you're coming into prosperous energy. You are maintaining much more money. Um, yeah, beautiful. It actually says that here. It says, its greatest gift is weaving the thread of Dharma into a vast, intricate web that supports the spider and those around it, both financially and spiritually. Beautiful. The car reminds us creativity is everywhere. Be process orientated rather than results orientated. And soon your work becomes like the weaving of a magical priceless tapestry. Abundance flows. This is creator of prosperity through life's work and Dharma. 
when in balance appreciative enthusiastic and prosperous when out of balance discouraged tired and forlorn to bring into balance playful creativity i feel like a lot of you guys are in the next possibly like six to eight months you're going to come into a more creative side of yourself and you're going to be known for that thing whatever it is it's very similar to group number one actually and normally that happens in my readings i've discovered and I feel like with the spider, this is about you guys stepping out of your comfort zone. Like some, you kind of stay in the middle of the web a lot of the time and you're very, and you kind of like a very detail orientated, like you are constantly focusing on one thing and you're never actually looking outside. So what I'm seeing is, is you're doing something different to initiate some change. So it could be um, talking to somebody who, you know, is a professional, like a therapist or something, opening up the subconscious. I feel like I'm picking up on a lot of mental, uh, mental health type things, like things like OCD and things are kind of like you're very, very sensitive. So it can turn into slight OCD tendencies um, where you kind of try to focus on things very detail orientated and you don't see the bigger picture. So to kind of come into this spider is to meditate and to look at things out, look at things from a higher perspective. I'm hearing it is all in divine timing. I'm picking up for some of you guys you want to work with food, like be a cook or something culinary. So for those of you who have a very strong idea of what you want to do, but you're kind of like, I don't know how to start it. This is just a really strong message that you just got to start with your intuition and see where it goes from there. I'm hearing there's no advice to getting where you need to go. You've got to use your intuition because this is your life. And wherever you go is meant where you're meant to be, essentially. I'm picking up on springtime for you guys. So springtime will feel a lot more freer for you, wherever that is for you. I'm also hearing October. So we do have a couple of nighttime animals um, here. So I do feel as if, I mean, also it's kind of like getting out your comfort zone. I mean, spiders, a lot of people don't like them. They're quite scary to a lot of people and they kind of pop up randomly. So what I'm feeling is it's like you're going to be asked to step up into your power and not be scared of doing that. And the owl is is like you're going, you are in hibernation for a while. And I do feel like the next six months will be hibernation, but it doesn't mean you can't work on yourself in that process, you know? Hopefully that makes sense. So let's see what else we have here for group number one. All right, we have the fifth house. Oops, okay, let's do that again. <laughs> okay, we have the 10th house. We had the fifth house as well. So um, that's, you know, it is double fives is 10, so that makes sense. Okay, so we have Gemini, we have Mars, and we have the 10th house. So what I'm seeing is the Mars energy is all about initiation, like initiating something. Um, it's like forward movement, action, being detail orientated, but like also seeing a bigger perspective. So it's definitely to do with what I've previously mentioned. And these two are very masculine. Like um, career is ruled by Capricorn, which is quite a masculine sign, is asking you to focus on one thing at a time and to actually do something about it. A lot of you guys get ideas, but you never actually follow through. So it could also be to increase this and to increase the abundance coming towards you is to, to look at the relationship with your father figure and how it has shaped you. It's basically your relationship to your um, drive. Um, is your relationship to possibly relationships as well if you're attracted to men. And it's your relationship to your public image and how people see you. And if you did have a dad that was very like not present a lot of the time, you might feel like you have to constantly achieve stuff all the time. That's not what, that's, it's gonna get you where you need to go, but it's what you focus on, not the amount. It's like, quality over quantity if that makes sense so what i'm seeing is you don't have to force yourself out there to get what you want but i do feel like this is quite career orientated it's kind of like your goals and projects but i do feel like it's some sort of connection to relationships here as well the gemini is very much about being heard gemini's tend to have a lot of ideas and they don't ever execute them um, if they're in balance so with a gemini and mars you're kind of quite frantic you're, you can be in your mind a lot so what I'm seeing is that will come in handy. And I'm, I'm picking up on ADHD again. So a lot of you guys may have an overactive mind. And a lot of the time it gets pegged as ADHD when a lot of it is just because you're sensitive. Society likes to label stuff as well. Not that I'm saying you don't have it at all. But for someone myself, like personal experience, I have personally dealt with that and anxiety and OCD and things like that. So I personally know that it, a lot of it is to do with not being emotionally regulated when you were younger and feeling like you have to force it and shove it down. People who have very strong ADHD tendencies are also fucking creative and that is gonna be your main thing. Even if you don't associate with that, in a way, like overall you are just very creative. And I feel like you've got to show people what you're made of essentially. And you'll get most of your success by being around people who have the exact same or very similar views to you because it helps you to become more confident in those views. It's like, oh, okay, this is like recognition, you know, being listened to, being heard. 
Okay, beautiful. So it's definitely a lot of physical uh, things coming towards you, things that are earthly. So we have Terra, which is Earth. So there's definitely a lot to do with money and moving house as well. I'm picking up on things that you have to um, save up financially for. Um, I also feel like it's to do with you maturing. So I'm picking up on very strong Saturn energy. It's to do with you guys making strong moves towards a career or towards groups. And I do feel like your groups are going to drastically change. You're going to be around people who can manage and um, assist you, manage their own emotions and assist you with yours. And there could be a cancer who you have a very strong connection with. There's a lot of like mothering energies. I feel like if you can look at the relationship with your father figure and really heal that, maybe cut some cords and have very strong boundaries with men, just in general, whether you're, you know, in a, um, whether you are attracted to them or not uh, sexually. It's really, really important to look at that because it's going to basically, like I said, it's going to basically affect how people see you. Um, it's kind of like, I feel like you want to have success to like show people what you're made of, but it's like, show up for yourself and people will come to you naturally. Um, okay, so we have Scorpio. So we have a lot of transformation here, like group number one, another water sign. So there's a lot of things you're trying to avoid and scorpions aren't something that people like to be in contact with. So like myself as a Scorpio, I have dealt with a lot of people who are very against my energy, which I totally get because, you know, Scorpios can be very, very deep, but it's only those people who haven't found the depth in themselves who struggle being around people who are deep. So for you, if you come into your natural abilities of depth or creativity or your, you know, your overactive mind, which is actually very beautiful and can help you a lot, you're going to find so many people who accept you. I'm picking up on people who dress up like from, pick up on like Dungeons and Dragons and things like dressing up like a wizard or having like a lot of cosplay. You might be around people like that who dress up as like witches and wizards. <laughs> So it's definitely a new chance for you to spread your wings. And there's going to be a lot of people who are like you. I'm hearing like communities. Yeah, there we go. Creativity. Beautiful. That's a massive confirmation right there. Number 33. Study. Lovely. And that's why I said there's something about researching and kind of looking into things that, that really spark, spark joy. <laughs> like Marie Kondo, spark joy for you, you know and help you to look deeper into yourself and really figure out what it is because Geminis are very good at researching too. They're very good with like different topics. So there might not be one specific, specific topic you want to actually focus on, but you are, I'm feeling going to find a lot of groups, even maybe a study group, or you might find groups where you are studying together. And good cheer is like you're being recognized for your for who you are, like you're no longer being stripped of who you are and what you're good at. Like you're being you're being listened to and really, really heard. So with this card coming up, I do feel like the thing that you're avoiding is the thing that you need. So, you know, it doesn't have to be, it's not everything, but a lot of it can be to do with like, I hear in like self-study, like um, basically filling up your cup with, you know, anything to do with your mental, your mind, like, you know, things like meditation or going out for a walk, talking to people you really enjoy talking to, having some sort of creative outlet or someone you can talk to, either professionally or a friend. And that's going to help you get some ideas. There's not really one specific uh, message for you guys that's coming in for you guys within a year, but it feels extremely powerful. And it feels like it's about self-acceptance because Geminis tend to have at some point some sort of identity crisis because they're so all over the place. And it's only when they bring their energy back to them and stop focusing on what ifs and when that's going to happen and, you know, spreading it out. When they come back to who they are in their identity and not worry about everyone else, that's when they really come in and they blossom. It's basically like when you water a plant, like you can't expect a plant to grow if you're not watering it. So it's about you filling up your own cup and focusing solely on what lights you up and then people will naturally be drawn to you because you have that gorgeous energy and people love happy, confident people. And it's just like a fact right there. So let's get you some advice. Lovely. Ancestral healing. Your ancestors, ancestors are holding space for you to heal your past. And like I said, that the eagle, like another Scorpio omen, this is about seeing things from a higher perspective and not judging things solely on what they are appearing to be as well. And I feel like you're going to change and have the courage to change your friendship groups. You're not tied to just one certain person or a certain group of people. Like you're going to really change it. And that's going to really impact your life. You might even live with people. You might even manifest a partnership through friends, something like that. So have a lovely day. I hope you resonated with this video. And if you did, please comment down below if you would like to or subscribe if you haven't already. And if you would like to get a private reading, all my information is down below along with my crystal shop. And I will speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose a beautiful copper. I love copper. I forget how 
like weighted it is. I love copper essos on my shop. They're just one of my favorite crystals. Um, I know I have a lot, but they're one of my favorite to meditate with because they just ground you. They're just like, oh, it's so nice. It gets you really in your body. So what I'm picking up on was I actually heard the word suffering and I heard complete, like completion, suffering, completion and awareness. So there's definitely a very strong connection to your awareness around suffering. Like you're no longer going to be suffering because you, you completed a cycle within yourself. Hopefully this is going to stay still. And basically you are much more comfortable with that kind of feeling. So what I'm seeing is you're no longer putting yourself in a position where you're suffering and you're feeling uncomfortable. Like you're very aware of when this starts to come up in your life. You're very aware of how you feel about it, how it affects you and what you wanna do about it, okay? I'm hearing cracks on the surface as well. Like things are cracking open for you. I'm picking up this really lovely feeling of like a brand new life for you guys within a year. It will be a bit earlier for some of you. It could be within six months and I'm picking up on Capricorn season could be very good for you guys. So let's have a look at your card. So this is your future self and this is your present self. Ooh, I love this, yay. Okay, we have the black egg and we have the nightingale, beautiful. So birds lay eggs, that's a really strong omen there, like really strong connection, like you are birthing your self, girl, yes. Okay, so let's have a look at the black egg and see what she represents. I'm pretty sure this is the heart chakra, I knew one of them is. Yes, oh lovely, so this is to do with your truth. So this could be, is this to do with the throat chakra? Let me see, the fifth chakra. Yeah, it's to do with speech and expression. So that's so funny, because the nightingales also to do with speech and expression. So some of you guys are very like, you need to speak strongly about who you are. This is all about opinions. It's what you value. It's your connection to your opinions. It's are you expressing your opinions? It's singing, it's speech, it's communication. And you know, we constantly communicate with people on a daily basis. So where are you stopping or stunting your growth around expression? So let's see. So speaking from, from an authentic voice and the truth. Okay, beautiful. So we start asking questions like, what do I know to be true about myself and what is true about the world? Inside of it resides no confusion, excuses, small talk, noise or lies, not even white ones. This living and breathing vessel harbors only that which rings true. When this essence is in balance, we speak slowly and clearly. We are drawn to activities like writing, reading, teaching, singing, or perhaps public speaking. Sounds draw us in, books draw us in, the concept of truth itself draws us in. And then obviously this is to do the throat shot across. So let's see. So what I'm feeling is you're definitely being asked to not avoid your inner voice. Oh, that's a nice one. Not avoid your inner voice. Also, if you want to know what this deck is, it's the Animal Spirit deck. A lot of you guys asked what decks are. Uh, this one is the Animal Spirit deck by King Kranz. And this is also the archetype deck is really good as well by the same um, artist, by the same person. So the fact that we have this bird. Oh, I get it. I just got it. So the black egg, basically this bird is here. This egg is the bird before it gets birthed and is born. Oh my God, this is such a sexy message. Like this is so cool. <laughs> so what I'm seeing is you guys have been so confined for a shit ton of time, basically your whole life. This is to do with your sex life. This is to do with how you express yourself. This is to do with your sexual power. This is also sexual power. It isn't just to do with sex, but it is um, connected to here as well. It's about expression. It's about being authentic. It's about being a sovereign being, owning your body, having ownership of your voice, having ownership of your opinions. Your opinions are sacred and they are needed. And I'm feeling within a year, wow, fucking rebirth, girl. Oh my God. And also what's really lovely about this is you're no longer hiding. So a lot of people being drawn to you because you're now being seen. You're coming into a gigantic rebirth and it's to do with your birth year. So if you know, obviously you know your age. So we have a look at birth year videos and see what um, what uh, house you're in at the moment, depending on what, what age you are. This is going to show you what that year is going to be like for you at that age. And I feel like for some of you guys, it will be your seventh and your third house. So you'll probably could be, third, it could be uh, 26 or... 29 something like that but obviously in your 20s but it goes round again so 30s 40s 50s you know etc etc wow this is so cool like i feel like you are fully birthed 
So what I love about this is your life's gonna be really different. Um, major fucking changes. Like you will pot, you could meet some really beautiful friends. You can have a very strong relationship to just one singular person, um, as in like a best friend, a parent, um, a relationship. Some of you guys are gonna be driving, like I'm seeing you free, like wee, I'm, I'm flying, I'm free. You know, it's like when the bird tries to fly for the first time, it can be really uncomfortable. Um, and then you're fucking flying free. And you're also gonna be known for your voice in some way. Um, you might have a distinct voice, a really relaxing voice, a loud voice, a sharp voice. You're gonna have something about your voice and it's so fucking powerful. It could be to do with your Mercury as well. So let's see. All right, there we go. That just explains it. I knew we we're gonna have Mercury. Oh my God, do you know how excited I am? Like this is like everything I love about being a psychic reader. Oh my God, Gemini, Mercury, eighth house. Boom, we have Mercury and Gemini, which is the third house. We have the eighth house, which is Scorpio, which is transformation. So. Oh my God, this is like tarot porn. Okay, so <clears throat> as she clears her throat, <clears throat> so Mercury is all about how am I expressing myself? What are my values? What am I expressing to people? What do I want to express? How am I expressing it? Your Mercury is how you express yourself. So for you, that's gonna be super important within a year and you're not gonna be around any toxic people anymore. You're not gonna be forcing yourself to be around certain people. There's no kind of like, um, for duty, like, you know, when people like hang out with people like family and it's like duty, I'm doing my duty. Like that's not, no, that's not Aquarian age. That's not authentic. This is about you being so fucking powerful and mature that people are recognizing you. And it may be even like you might become quite popular and then people literally like recognize you. People literally recognize you, um, on the street and they're like, oh my God, can I have a picture or something like that? Like you're so well known for what you want to do. A lot of you guys want to be poets poetry, there's something about like, hearing, the, I'm actually hearing like an 18 plus word and I don't wanna say it, but it's kind of, it's when you reach the top, the climax, okay? It's like that feeling I'm getting. It's like ultimate explosion, power. It's just beautiful. And you, a lot of you guys are, are very much in your sexual energy. So that's probably why I'm getting a lot of those messages. Wow. <clears throat> so it's kind of being recognized. You're being recognized for your talents and I'm seeing a lot of professional um, achievements coming through as well. Okay, beautiful. Let's see what else. Oh girl, you could get a massive change within your Saturn return. You could be a Capricorn. Also, this makes me feel like you are fucking maturing. I'm not seeing anything uncomfortable happening. Like I think you've already gone through a lot of the uncomfortable stuff. This feels like um, you are ready kind of thing. You're ready. I'm hearing that you shall not pass sort of thing. But now I'm hearing like, off you go. You can pass now. <laughs> like it's like you're ready for it. It's kind of like you've got your license for something. <clears throat> you might even literally have a license or have a, get a license for something. You could complete a course. Uh, but it feels like your karma is just absolutely ready for a new start. Like I really, really feel that. I'm hearing it's not enough anymore. Like you're ready to be filled. And that sounds so dodgy, but I'm not gonna take that back. <laughs> okay, I love that. Ooh, the sun, beautiful. We have the first house, love it. I, I love the Gemini energy, like it's really being recognized for your identity and what you're really good at. We have the moon, let's get, a, I wanna get a couple more. Yeah, a couple more. Let's get, actually let's get one more. Lovely. Six houses come up a lot in these groups. It's to do with like being of service, looking after your health. There we go, Capricorn, beautiful. So Capricorns, if they're in balance, they can be over really, overly protective, overly um, caring for others. Like they kind of have, feel like they have to take on a lot of responsibility. You are becoming a sovereign being where you don't feel like you have to take responsibility for anyone else. Within a year, you're gonna be really confident and you're not gonna have so much trauma and anything hiding. You're not hiding anymore away and you're not hiding who you are and what you express and what you want to express. And the waxing give us is quite important, especially because it's right in the middle. And I feel like there's kind of like a conjunction or something happening here with the sixth house, the moon and the waxing give us. It's kind of like your authentic self is coming through. I'm seeing a lot of you guys going on a romantic date, like lots of candles and champagne and things like that. Whatever is romantic to you, maybe a deep talk is romantic to you as well. It feels like now you can have your relationship. So if a lot of you guys have been single for a long time, this is a very strong confirmation you have done the healing girl you've done the healing and it's very very fucking powerful fucking love it so happy for you guys 
I'm hearing you're no longer giving away your power as well, which is so amazing. And I absolutely love that. Okay, so let's reshuffle these. I'm also hearing you're in the driver's seat. You're coming in with your eyes wide open. So yeah, beautiful destiny. I love that. That's really beautiful. <laughs> yep, there we go. So it is your destiny to meet someone else because you are now owning your power. Like when we're in a state of like, I'm going to meet the one, they're going to be amazing. They're going to be like, live happily ever after. It's like, that is not real. Like, yes, of course you can have that, but it, it comes with like, you can't just have fun and love and happiness all the time. Like you have to look at that person, like that person that you're wanting to attract, to attract is coming with their stuff. You're coming in a relationship with your stuff. So it's not going to be happy flowers fun all the time. But when you own your shit before coming into any sort of connection, you attract someone who is equally as mature and responsible for their emotions. And that is fucking sexy. Like for someone who is, you know, really emotionally responsible, you want to be with someone who's also emotionally responsible. You want someone who can father your kids or, you know, drive you places if you need that or be somebody who's emotionally supportive. You know, someone who lives happily ever after, that doesn't mean they're amazing. That's superficial, you know? And essentially, you are blocking yourself off from having something extremely authentic. And we aren't taught to look at authenticity. We're taught to look at things on the surface. And the more you look deeper, you will see, wow, that is why I've attracted these type of people. And I don't want to do that anymore, you know? Yay! So a lot of you guys are going to be moving. A lot of you guys are going to have a beautiful, safe home to come home to. You might have been in between houses. You might have had a lot of issues with home. A lot of issues with your home, your body. You might have felt rejected by your body um, by having physical symptoms. There's definitely a place. I'm hearing a place in your heart where you feel very unsettled, and you're changing that. Like your actual your your home is is a feeling. So it's like when you feel safe, that is how you're going to feel. You're going to feel safe in your body, in your life, and you're not going to feel like you have to constantly escape your life like your home is your body and life is basically yeah your home is your body and your life is you know everything outside of you so if you are not safe within your body you're not going to feel safe anywhere okay so psychic protection you're going to be really psychically protected you're going to learn how to create psychic protection and you're going to be able to become in, like naturally intuitive and your life is going to be so much easier because you're following your natural intuitive guidance and people could be coming to you for your natural intuitive guidance your relationships very intuitive both of you are going to help each other out there's going to be an equal equality and there's going to be both of you are going to be extremely supportive of each other it's going to be absolutely gorgeous and i am fully fully happy with this connection absolutely beautiful Let's get you a card. Ooh, I love this. I'm excited. If you could see, I did a little dance. <laughs> New pathways. Consider whether you're happy on your current path. So it is asking you to assess the situation. Is there anything I can change? If not, that's okay. Divine timing. That's what it's for. So have a lovely day, guys. I also see some of you guys are going to go on a trip, maybe a psychic trip. <laughs> I do feel like some of you guys, it is a physical trip. Um, a lot of you guys have been craving change. So um, part of your destiny, what you've been wanting is part of your life, but you have to initiate it as well. You've got to learn to become more present in your body because if you don't, you will constantly be craving things outside of you. And it comes from basically just learning about who you are. Like it really is a personal journey. So really try to focus on what you need, not what everyone else needs. It's not about them, it's about you. You are fucking important, okay? So I'm hearing you also having, doing work on your heart like having like a hammer and hammering at your heart being like hey hey bitch wake up <laughs> so it's like really opening yourself up to more possibilities and realizing you're not stuck it just might feel like it for a little bit okay so be patient with yourself guys this is amazing there's gonna be major changes just randomly popping up and i'm seeing just like explosion and i'm hearing explode is it explosion by uh ellie golding that's like what i'm hearing a lot of sexual references so have a lovely day and i'll speak to you soon information is below for readings on my crystal shop and i will speak to you soon bye bye hello green before let's get started with your reading so i saw um animals around you so animals are going to be an important part of your life in the future i love doing this with these crystals this is the uh smoky quartz double terminated so it's like pointed at each side I love it, it's so gorgeous. It's just, I feel like really bougie and really rich when I'm holding it. I'm like, yeah, I have money. <laughs> um, it's also really good for helping you with, I'm hearing strange times, <coughs> I'm also hearing stranger things. Um, a lot of you guys are learning how, learning where you sit in family, learning where you sit in your tribe, learning where you're like, what's important to you, what you, what your values are 
what you need, um, what you discover about yourself is affecting everything around you. There's a lot of massive changes around your home, a lot of cancer energy. It doesn't even feel, it is cancer, but it's not. It's kind of like an upgraded version of cancer. So it could be, I feel the 10th house. So the 10th house is opposite the 4th house of cancer. So it's this kind of like, where do I fit in in this family dynamic? Where do I fit in in my life? It's kind of like a sense of tribe and then you're in you're in that tribe and you're kind of focusing on how these people have affected your life, especially to do with like family trauma and stuff. Okay, so before we look into that card, let's see. So your uh, future self and your past self. All right. I feel like a magician when I do that. All right, so we had the moth and the unicorn. I'm hearing this is no short of magic. This is no short of magical. So maybe you are a magician. <laughs> maybe some of you guys want to be a magician. Um, but what I'm seeing is, authentically when you're when you're feeling when you're in your authentic energy when you're expressing yourself naturally you are a magician you are the magician in tarot i feel really cold some of you guys might be feeling really cold at the moment i suddenly feel very very cold um so i'm just going to release any energy that no longer needs to be here just in case we have some little spirits that want to just pop in okay I'm just releasing that all right beautiful so we have this energy of, I want to be free. I want to break free. <laughs> I feel like a lot of you guys are searching for the light. I'm hearing the light is coming. God, God, you guys are singers. Like some of you guys love music. I'm hearing the light is coming by Ariana Grande. That's actually such a bop. Like I don't really understand half the song, but as someone who wants the light coming into on the earth and like everyone dancing in Aquarius age, I feel so good about it. <laughs> you know, it's like my little ratchet spiritual song. <laughs> So the moth here is saying, I want more, I need more and I am going to get it. So you're needing to fly towards the light at the moment. You're needing to fly, basically you're very determined, like you're really, really determined. Um, and the unicorn is basically a higher upgraded version of yourself. So what I'm seeing is you are in the 3D right now. I mean, you will always be a 3D person if you're a human, but what I'm seeing on a spiritual level, you are becoming much more enlightened than where you are now. So you're going to see things from a higher perspective, but also you're going to see things in a way where you're not being affected so much, you're not being triggered so much. Basically, this is the universe transforming you into a moth, from a moth to a unicorn. It's kind of like, I'm hearing, show me my future self, and that is you. Like, you are, you're hiding yourself so much, but now you're ready to push forward. So I just want to have a little look at the moth in the, in the, in the deck. This is the uh, animal spirit deck. And I want to see where the moth is and how he represents. Okay, so it says, when in balance, enthusiastic and whimsical, when out of balance, idealizes others and jittery, to bring into balance a finished project. So it says, no matter the illusion, no one is exempt from the trials and tribulations of this great journey. Practice seeing life as an infinite mystery rather than wishing it was easier or different. So basically, it's kind of like the grass is always greener, impulseful, hasty, and wishful. I feel like a lot of you guys are very much in your childlike trauma at the moment, or childlike energy where you're focusing too much on your inner child and what it wants. It's like, you know, I'm seeing like a child and she's like pulling at like the mum, like mum's top. She's like, mummy and daddy, I want this, I want this. And it's like, you have to learn that you have to actually go for your goals, like actually move forward to get this. So say if you you keep attracting a lot of basically assholes, what is it within you? Is it because you are possibly desperate for somebody, which, you know, it's not a bad thing. This is stuff we go through as a society. Is it like a slight feeling of desperation? Is it feeling guilty for being single when you're in a relationship? Is it wanting something outside of you to avoid what you're dealing with? It's like there's something there that you are uncovering. It's very, very subconscious. It feels like you might have to do a shadow around it to clear it. Or you might just be doing a lot of shadow work. I'm hearing shit ton of shadow work. So what I'm seeing is, basically it says, practicing life is an infinite mystery rather than wishing it was easier or different. So what I'm seeing is because you're going from the moth to the unicorn, you are embracing your spiritual side. So a lot of the time is when we're in this moth energy, we're trying to compete and we're trying to get somewhere, but you're basically being too wishful. It's kind of like, well, you know, I do want a partner. I want, basically I'm hearing like, I want a partner that's really mentally stable and someone who's really emotional and sexual and things. But are you those things for yourself? Like I want someone who's really expressive, someone who looks after their body, someone who's really healthy. Are you looking after yourself? Are you getting to that place? It's like, you want, okay, so this is very human nature. It's like, you want something, but you're not putting in the effort to go there because you realize that you don't realize there's a block. 
So what I'm seeing is blockages can change by the way, like blockages aren't like always there all the time. So within a year, you will fully, fully come into your inner wisdom and your higher self. It's gonna be so fucking sexy. Like you will be massive sex appeal. You will be so beautiful and your energy, like you're beautiful already, you know, but your energy is gonna be so magnetic. People will want to be like, um, where did you get that like glow? <laughs> you pregnant girl? It's like, it's gonna be beautiful. So the unicorn, is to do with your sixth chakra, which is all about seeing things through your third eye. When we are very, very much in a place of healing, it can be really, really hard to express yourself and to see things clearly. If you are stuck, it's really hard to see things from a high perspective. Basically, you're being stuck right now so you can witness why you're feeling like that. So say if something's not working in your life, realize what are those emotions coming up? Because sometimes we can't get a job right now, we can't get a relationship right now, why, what, okay, what are the feelings that are coming up within you that are causing this to happen? So a lot of the time is I've had things in my business where it's like things will be quite slow, but then, I, but then what it's teaching me, the reason why it's slow is because it's meant to be slow, so I can focus on what that feeling is within me. Or say if you're single and you're really fed up with it, it's like, okay, but what is that teaching me? Is it teaching me to be more patient? Is it teaching me to be more um, thinking about myself? Is it teaching me to be more empowered in my body, to focus on what I love and what I feel appreciative of? It's just like really diving deep, as much as you probably don't want to, because a lot of us don't. Been there, done that, girl. So, okay, with the unicorn, it says reconnecting to higher wisdom or divinity. We think about a higher power and our mind hesitates between yes, no, and maybe. Is it male or female? Does it have a name? Is it just a feeling? The unicorn card appears to wake us up to the curiosity about the higher self and the divine. It is a card of questioning, exploring, contemplating. This feels like a Gemini that's very, very confused. So you might be a Gemini, have a very strong Gemini in your chart. The mind's eye knows there is something beyond our day-to-day -day lives, a deeper dimension to our experiences. The mind's eye reaches and reaches out to grasp something more. You are the unicorn and you have begun your quest for the answers. The ancient yogis believed it is to, it, to be responsible for our intellect, intuition and deepest wisdom. Some say our two eyes see the past and present while our third eye peers into the future. Oh, wow, that's amazing. So what I'm seeing is Moth is your old self, unicorn is your new self. So like, where are you giving away your spiritual magic? Okay, and this is for a lot of you guys who are around people who basically strip you of your confidence. A lot of you guys have very strong Gemini qualities. Even if you aren't a Gemini, a lot of you guys really doubt your potential and you can become quite confused on your path. You don't have to know what your path is. As long as you are going towards somewhere that feels safe for you, you're exploring, your life is about exploring. You're not meant to know everything, okay? And the unicorn doesn't really give a shit. <laughs> He's like, I don't care. As long as I'm tuning into my intuition, I don't give a fuck, you know? <laughs> okay, so we have Aries, lovely. That's all about being the leader. Ninth house. And then we have Uranus. Uranus does also doesn't give a shit. Uranus is like, right, you're gonna go through this major transformation, let's do it now. It's like, I don't care about the timing now. Now is the right timing, let's go now. It's like, I don't care if you're ready or not, go for it. What it's basically saying is, where are you stopping yourself from opening your heart? Are you being critical on yourself? Are you surrounding yourself with negative people? Are you wanting something else, but you're still doing the same thing? It's that sort of self-sabotaging stuff that I feel like is really preventing you from exploring, but you're getting there because you are going towards the light, you know? The light is coming. <laughs> So the Aries energy is basically being the leader. It's like recognizing that you can do this, you are gonna do this and you will get there. And it's about exploring. Ninth house is very much to do with exploring, research, learning, all that sort of stuff. So there's something you need to learn to get to your next step. And it could be something to do with a career. It could be something to do with, um, you know, maybe researching a therapist you wanna to go towards, maybe like a Reiki therapist, acupuncturist counselor like there might be somebody you need to help you on your spiritual journey fourth house i mean yes that is all to do with safety feeling safe within your body girl yes so within the next year you're going to feel like your, your house is going to change so you might get like a building there you might get like an extra building there might be a ah, balance in your home that's lovely um i feel like also i'm hearing if you had kids there's something that's gonna balance itself out with, the, with children. Like maybe if you have a lot of people in your home, there's gonna be like less people in the home because maybe there's someone's gonna move out or something like that and you're gonna have more freedom. Say if someone's living in your home and you're like, please go, but I can't tell you to go. It's like something like that. Um, 
it could also be something part of you that you're wanting to like come away from that you want to go as well yep gemini third house intellect lovely so definitely a lot of research needs to go uh needs to go on as well the libra and the aquarius is very much like knowledge like libras are very knowledgeable about a lot of things and they're also like they're very good with their mind they can use their mind to create justice with people so i'm feeling like you're going to be like a mediator in something um you're somebody who's always protecting and things like that and i feel like you're being asked to step more into your power step more into your psychic abilities and use them in the future, I also feel that you could meet a Libra or Aquarius who's going to basically change your life. Um, we have Pluto, no, we don't have Pluto twice, so Pluto and Uranus. Very, very big, deep transformation. And I feel like a lot of you guys have been hiding your depth, been hiding your spirituality. And I'm hearing no more, girl, no more. Like, you can't be recognised if you're not being yourself, okay? So let's see what's going on. There we go beautiful massive confirmation that is libra energy right there something is uh balancing yourself out you're going to start to feel a lot more comfortable in your home something will change in the home where you feel a lot more comfortable um i do feel like renovating um there's something to do with like an extension could be you are uh, moving into someone else's house because we have a romance Hi. so there's you're romancing your life as well you're okay you're letting yourself explore guys some of you guys are so scared of trying new things that nothing ever happens like nothing ever happens so the best possible decision romanceify your life but girl like romanceify your life get interested in what you're interested in go towards it doesn't matter if it you know fails like you have to try stuff otherwise you just don't know and don't be hard on yourself wow <laughs> oh my god some of you guys are really wanting romance like wow 5, 23, 18, 11, the, the fact that we have this could be stop going towards that twin flame that isn't good for you, stop waiting for signs on that person and you know, and you know who I'm talking to, like girl, if you, this resonates with you and you're talking to somebody who's not good for you, don't look for signs, look for an exit, <laughs> look for an exit door. Um, so there's something that has to be balanced out and it's definitely balancing with somebody who's, um, it's balancing in your romantic life as well like the best possible decision is to um have a relationship with somebody who makes you feel good and it could be somebody who's who's who uh, who's a lawyer or something like that or somebody who's very balanced you're with somebody who's balanced so last one the bigger picture which is very sagittarius ninth house the bigger picture take a step back and gather your thoughts and feelings I feel this is to do with standing out above the crowd as well, like especially if you're tall and you're quite insecure about it. There's a need for you to just be like, that's who I am. Why would I want to change it? You know, I'm beautiful the way I am. Everyone's different. You're meant to be different. And it's also like embracing your skin as well. Maybe you're quite insecure about the skin. Um, seeing like blotches or scars or something. There's something to do with that as well. So have a lovely day. I'm hearing don't be afraid to stand out. Let yourself be known as someone who stands out as well. So you're going to reach so many more people if you do stand out. All right. So that is your reading, guys. I hope that resonates with you. Um, my crystal shop and my rates are below and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.